today's Florida Sportsman Seminar segment, we're going to be talking about rod holders. There's all kinds of rod holders that fit on the kayak, from a flush mount, to a Scotty mount, to a tube, all the way to milk crates with PVC pipes. They all have their purposes, they all work. What works best for you depends on your fishing situation. What I'm doing today is discuss the many different types that are out there. And it seems like every week there's something new coming out on the market. These are the basic ones that you can find, and hopefully with this video, you'll find the right one for the situation that you're looking to fish for. The first kind of rod holder I like to talk about is the flush mount. It comes standard on many of the angler models that they have from these companies. It's usually on back behind each the seat. There's usually two flush mounted. And uh, one thing you'll notice is you put your rod in there, it's very close to the water and also is subject to paddle splash. It's one of my least favorite for those reasons. But, you know, there's a couple things you can do to avoid that. One is to insert a tube, either a PVC pipe. Companies like Hobie have a tube that actually elevates your rod so it's not so close to the water, it's higher up, less paddle splash and less hole slap splash. Also, Scotty makes an adapter that slides into the flush mount and sticks up. Like about this one, it gives you an opportunity to have different angles. Track systems they have on a lot of the new kayaks. What is unique about this, it allows you to put a rod holder on, move it around, and then take it off. It's a real unique system, and uh, I like it a lot because one day I might be fly fishing and I don't want any kind of a rod holder up front to catch my fly line. The next day, I'm going after a snook with my spinning rod. I definitely want the rod holder up front. Another thing to look at is a fly rod holder. If you guys are fly rod fishermen, Scotty makes the fly rod holder. I'm sure there's a few others out there. Very well worth having. It secures that fly rod, holds it in place, keeps that fly rod from banging around on the kayak, spooking fish, or even breaking. Then you look at your milk crates. Milk crates have come a long way from the standard milk crate like you find at the grocery store to these fancy ones with lids that actually I like because you can actually secure your gear if some reason you do tip, nothing goes all falling out. Usually holds three rods. It'll hold it in place. They are sticking straight up, but uh, a lot of people love milk crates. A lot of people use them. It's one of the other options you have for storing your rods. The nice thing is, when you're done, you just unhook the milk crate, you can lift your gear, your rods, everything in one group, carry it to your car, and you load up and go home. Rod holders from companies like Ram and Scotty have been around for years and very popular with the guys that are fishing out of kayaks. The reason why, they're very durable. Also, it allows you the option of putting your rod up, turning it sideways, having it lengthwise with the kayak, a host of different options. It also allows you to lock your rods in place for those times that you do tip or those times you get in real tight mangrove areas and your rod tip catches the uh, catches the uh, mangroves. Very popular, been around for a long time and there's a good reason why. As you can see there's a lot of variety as far as rod holders. Which one's right for you? What well, depends on your type of fishing, your style, and what you want to do. There's no right answer, there's no wrong answer. I just hope I answered a few of your questions about styles and types that are out there. So the main thing is, get out there, rig it right, get that right rod holder on there, go catch some fish.